Lusaka Conference Youth Former Communication Leader Master Guide Margaret Namwanja Chikwabi, who died on 20th June 2021 following a short illness, has been put to rest at Lusaka's old Leopards Hill Cemetery. The ever smiling and cheerful Namwanja served in the youth department with distinction and great commitment and will be remembered for her exploits in the communication committee where she sat as chairperson for a long time. Her former committee members have described her as a focused and dedicated leader who always strived for success in committee assignment. And former Lusaka Conference Youth Vice Treasurer Fungai Mugwagwa said that Namwanja will be greatly missed for her leadership qualities she exhibited in the youth department. And the current Conference Youth Communication Chairperson Innocence Yachitova has described the lead as someone who was his mentor as far as communication skills are concerned. Meanwhile, former Lusaka Conference Youth Chaplain Andrew Kandawire said that the left's ever welcoming smile was a great testimony of her warm personality. Her love for Jesus was evidenced in her service to the Adventist Youth Movement. It was under her leadership as communication chairperson that the youth in Lusaka Conference started producing the youth magazine called Arise. Born in 1978, Namwanja is survived by one daughter. Former Central Zambia Conference Youth Chairperson Elder Jolis Timingo has described the late Namwanja as a giant in the youth ministries. Definitely, we have lost a giant in youth ministry. Uh, a sister who loved the Lord, a sister who loved her neighbors. She really loved to work and work very hard. She pushed herself to limits to achieve whatever targets she set for herself. I, I, I personally will miss Namwanja. We worked well together and uh, I, I am just short of the right words to use. Her death is indeed devastating. So Zumani Piri, a former Lusaka Conference Youth Editorial Committee member, says Namwanja was the epitome of leadership adding that she was a leader who advocated for excellence in the youth ministries department. We will remember her as a leader who advocated for excellence and was open to people. I got the opportunity to work with her on the editorial team of Lusaka Conference Youth Communications Department. And I always joke with her as to how I ended up being part of a team. So um, in our effort to give feedback during the council meeting, my friends and her, my friends and I offered a lot of negative criticism while she presented her report. Uh, this was shortly after she was elected as communications chairperson for the second time. And to my surprise, she followed me after the meeting, appreciated the feedback, and told me she, was, she would propose my name to be part of a new team. And this encounter was the foundation of a long-lasting friendship. And under our leadership, we produced the first 16-page Arise Zambia Youth magazine. And unfortunately, I was not in the country by the time the magazine was being published and printed out. Namwanja went out of the way to send me a copy via post all the way in India. She was indeed the epitome of leadership, a word she often used to address her colleagues. From her zeal to work for the Lord, Namwanja was a prolific writer, proofreader, who had even opened her own editing firm. Take a look. Hi there. My name is Namwanja Margaret Chikwari, and I am the Vice Coordinator for Writers Space Africa, the Zambian chapter. Who am I? I am a freelance book editor and proofreader. I run my own company. It's called Rosebud Editing and Proofreading. And we work on all kinds, different genres of books, magazines, articles, academic papers, um, anything you can think of. As long as it's the written word, that's what we're about. We also do book reviews and manuscript assessments. Jemima Monga reporting for Hope Channel Zambia, Lusaka Conference Youth Department. Mm -hmm.